Well, hi again, everybody. We are back on uh, May 5th, 1908. We have the uh, Philadelphia Phillies at the New York Giants. Phillies, of course, are at the bottom, which is uh, not a huge surprise. The Giants are only a game behind the Cubs. Have won four in a row, have the Giants. And uh, so we'll see what happens here. It's going to be Red Doohan uh, leading this off for uh, Philadelphia. And he rolls a, a 51 for a, a 9. That's going to be a single off of uh, Doc Crandall. Um, and then uh, let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit there. There we go. Um, and it kind of works. Um, and uh, then it uh, results in a uh, stolen, a uh, caught stealing, sorry, on doing because of the little C. So the Phillies get the first hit um, of the game off the first uh, first pitch or first at bat, but uh, wind up with an out out of it, one away. And here's Eddie Grant. Grant rolls a 56 for a 30, fly ball to left field. Shannon's got it for the out two away. And John Titus now. He rolls a 44 for an A. That's going to be a fly ball over to center field. And uh, it will be uh, Cy Seymour who grabs that for the out. We'll go to the bottom of the first inning, and it's uh, Roger Bresnahan still hitting a leadoff for the Giants and still doing a do good job. 365 average, 488 on base percentage. My goodness. My goodness. And he rolls, of course, 41 for 28. You say good things about him, and then he grounds out to a short. Doolin uh, grabs it, throws to first, one away. Mike Donlin now for the Giants. He rolls a 51 for a 7. That's a single to right field, and that'll bring up Fred Tenney. These Giants are very, very good. They know how to hit. Everybody knows how to steal. And uh, they play a very, very fast, moving, running game of baseball. Sort of game you don't see so much today. Here's Tenney. Rolls a 64 for a 22, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll bring up our Devlin. Runners on at first and second now. Only one out, bottom of the first. Devlin hitting 286 with some slugging, some power. Two home runs, actually, already this year. He rolls a 36 for a 32. as a fly ball over to right field. Titus has that for the out. Two gone. And here's Larry Doyle. He rolls a 43 for a 29. That's going to be a ground ball back to uh, the uh, pitcher, uh, Richie, who goes uh, to uh, first with it for the out. And uh, we go to the top of the second inning. Kitty Brownsfield is up there for the uh, Phillies. And Kitty rolls a 64 for a 13. It's a strikeout. I don't think we've had any uh, ba major league players named or called Kitty for a long time. Fred Osborne up there now rolls a 23 for 32. Just looking over there at the screen, and I know it's a little hard to uh, see because of the glare. That's a fly ball over to right field, and it is uh, Donlin who has that for the out. Two away, Otto Knave now. His roll is a 53 for an 18. The error number changed to 22, and that will be a ground ball over to Tenney, the first baseman, who flips over to Crandall, covering at the bag for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning just like that. Spike Shannon is up now. He rolls a 31 for a 14, and he will walk. So Lou Ritchie gives up his first walk of the game. 13th he's given up of the season. And here's Al Bridwell. Bridwell is uh, hitting uh, uh, 264 um, with a, a 321 on base percentage. I'm just looking at this to see if um, we want to bunt or not, and we're going to uh, go ahead and let him swing away, and he rolls a 24 for a 13. It's one of those uh, rolls where you kind of wish you forgot about the whole thing and just, okay, well, let's get it over with as soon as we can. One away here in the bottom of the second. Cy Seymour is up there now. It's amazing that Cy Seymour is hitting eighth. Um, he rolls a 14 for a 43, and here's the little E roll. And uh, the roll is a 53. It's out of the range. That'll be a fly ball over to left field. McGee has that for the out, two away, and it's uh, Doc Crandall. And uh, he rolls a 46 for a 13 and strikes out. Second strike out of the game for uh, Richie, and we go to the top of the third inning. Sherry McGee up there. Um, I think I mentioned before, Sherry McGee, he of the famous baseball card. And um, his roll is a uh, 21 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to left field, and uh, Shannon has it for the out, one away. Mickey Doolin now, the hitter. And uh, he rolls a 23 for a 32. This time it's a fly ball over to right field. And uh, Donlin has it. Mike Donlin for the out. Two away. And uh, now it is uh, Lou Ritchie. Lou Ritchie, the uh, pitcher, um, rolls a 62 for a 12. That'll be a little quiet ground ball down to the first baseman, uh, uh, Tenney, who takes it to the bag himself. And we go to the bottom of the third inning. It's Roger Bresnahan who's up there, and he rolls a 15 for a 10. That'll be a single to center field. So Bresnahan um, now one for two today, and uh, he's improving his average as we go along. Does Bresnahan have an 11? He does not. So we're not going to hit and run. One of the few um, uh, runners here on the uh, Giants who don't have an 11. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Mike Donlin now, who uh, rolls a 45 for 14. Let me uh, make sure I'm in the right place. There we go. And that's a, a walk, sorry, given up by Lou Ritchie. Runners now at first and second with nobody out, and that brings up Fred Tenney. Now, uh, McGraw in this situation might bunt. I'm going to swing away with him. And he rolls a 52 for a 27. I probably should have bunted. That was a, a ground ball over to uh, third baseman Grant. Goes over to Otto Knabe for one, and then on to uh, Bransfield at first for the double play. 
President Hunt able to go to third on the play, so there's a little bit of a uh, silver lining to that one. Here's Art Devlin. And Devlin rolls a 65, 4, 35. There is a little E roll, so it's not over yet, but this roll is a 23 just out of the range. It's a little pop-up over to Bridwell, the, I'm sorry, not Bridwell, uh, Doolin, the shortstop for Philadelphia. We go to the top of the fourth. Did that thing again where we changed from one to the next, and I forgot where I was looking. Top of the fourth inning, Red Doolin, the catcher for the Phillies, is up there. I just realized that both teams have the catcher hitting leadoff. You might be wondering what's going on. I, I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me. Um, he rolls a 65, 4, 8, 35. Here's the little E roll, and it's a 52 out of the range. It's a pop-up foul. Art Devlin is under it, and he makes the grab for the out. One away. Eddie Grant is up there, and he rolls a 24, 4, 13. That's a strikeout. There's two outs just like that, and it's John Titus. John rolls a 34, 4, 44, and here is the little E roll. It's going to be a 35. Fly out over to center field, and uh, it's going to be... Uh, uh, let's see, it'll be uh, Seymour, there he is, I Seymour making the grab, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Larry, Larry Doyle's up there. As I've said before, it'd be nice to have the players' names on the field so I don't have to look all the way over to the uh, lineup and look through it. Larry Doyle rolls a 55-4-8, uh, that's a ground ball over to shortstop. Doolin uh, throws the first, makes the play, one away. Spike Shannon now he rolls a 46 for a 29, that's a comeback over to Lou Ritchie, the pitcher, throws the first, two gone, and it's Al Bridwell. Rolls a 41 for a 28. That's going to be a ground ball over to the shortstop Doolin again, who throws on to first. We go to the top of the fifth. Still no score, only three hits in this ball game. And here is Kitty Bransfield, and he rolls a 12 for a 25. And there will be a little E roll. It's a 41 out of the range. It's a ground ball over to second. Doyle goes to first with it for the out, one away. Fred Osborne up there now rolls a 34 for a 44. That's a fly ball to Seymour in center. Two gone. Here's Otto Knabe. He rolls an 11 for a zero. Next roll is a 23 for a 6. That'll be a double to right center field, and that'll bring up Sherry McGee, the runner on at second base. McGee hitting 243, 0 for 1 today, and uh, he rolls a 42 for a 14. He will take his base on the walk, and John McGraw has got to be fuming. That'll bring up Mickey Doolin, uh, runners on at first and second, two outs top of the fifth, and uh, he rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a little fly ball over to center field. Seymour has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cy Seymour will lead it off. Seymour rolls a 45-4-14, and that brings up Doc Crandall. Now we're going to see the bunting starting. Crandall's rule is a 63 for a 32. It's a good bunt over to the left side. Grant has it, has to go to first with it to Bransfield. No play at second, and uh, Seymour now is a runner at second base. And here comes Roger Bresnahan. Now, uh, again, McGraw probably would bunt, but the way that Roger has been hitting, I don't want him to bunt, so we're going to swing away with him. And he rolls a 45 for a 14 and walks. That'll bring up Mike Donlin, who's also a great hitter. We don't want to bunt with these guys. Donlin, though, rolls a 64-4, a 9, and that ends up being a base hit infield hit against Lou Ritchie, and that'll bring up Fred Tenney. Infield comes in. Seymour, how fast are you? See, well, he does have that 11, but he doesn't have the fast rating. And the question is, okay, so with Tenney, do we bunt and try to go for, you know, the big play here? I think we will. If you're going to bunt, you got to bunt at some time, and this is kind of our chance to do so. So we're going to do a squeeze play with Seymour, and the roll is a 46 for a 13, and this is what I was worried about. That's a strike to Tenney, and unfortunately the runner on third base, uh, Seymour, is a dead duck, and he's um, tagged out by uh, Dewan on the attempt at steal of home. And so the other runners move up, but uh, Fred Tenney does not do his job, and he misses the bunt. Now there's two away bottom of the fifth, and he rolls a 34 for a 44. Fly ball to center field. Osborne has it for the out. We go to the top of the sixth inning just like that. Fast-moving ball game, and here is Lou Ritchie again. The Philadelphia pitcher rolls at 53 for a 21, changed to a 19. That's hit over to third base, and Art Devlin tries to make the play on it, and he ends up dropping it, and that means Ritchie is aboard on the air, and that'll bring up Red Dewin. Ritchie very slow. We can't do a lot of running with him. Ooh, and Dewin rolls a 66 for a zero. Let's see where this one winds up. And it's a 24 for a 6. It's going to be a double over first base, and Richie makes it over to third. Dewan, uh, of course, stops the second. And uh, there's runners on at second and third with nobody out here for Eddie Grant. Grant hitting fairly well this season, 306, but 0 for 2 so far today. And he has a golden chance. Let's see what he can do. And he rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Donlin has it for the out, uh, but the runner scores. Richie's able to score, reach home, and that makes it one nothing Philadelphia. John Titus now, who he rolls a 66 for a zero, 
His next roll is a 32 for a 6, and that's another double, this time to left center field, and that will score the other runner. It's 2 nothing Phillies, just like that, and they're punishing the Giants for not uh, getting any runs home in that bottom of the fifth. Kitty Bransfield now is up there. He rolls a 23 for a 32 as a fly ball to right field. Donlin has it for the out, two away, and it's Fred Osborne. Osborne rolls a 64 for a 29. That's a uh, ground ball over to Tenney, who flips over to Crandall, covering up first for the out. And we go to the bottom of the six, and it's Art Devlin. Art Devlin's up there, and he rolls a 46 for a 27. That's a grounder over to third base. Grant has it and throws on to first for the out, one away. Larry Doyle, now the batter, rolls a 15 for an 11, and that's a single and over to left field. And then Doyle able to uh, steal second with the next batter up there, Spike Shannon. I mean, Shannon is still up there, and uh, they're going to swing away, I think. I don't think we want to bunt necessarily in this situation. It doesn't help you much. And uh, so Shannon rolls a 42 for a 40, stays a 40, and that's going to be a ground ball over to the second baseman. This is a rare one. Knaib throws to third. Eddie Grant puts the tag down, and they get the runner. Shannon ends up safe at first on the unusual fielder's choice, and there's two away now in the bottom of the six. Al Bridwell is up, and Al rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a pop-up over to the catcher. Dewin has that for the out. We go to the top of the seventh inning, 2 nothing Phillies in a tight one, and it'll be Otto Knabe starting up there, the second baseman for the Phillies, uh, will be the first hitter. He rolls a 65 for a 35. Here's that little E roll. It's a 54 out of range. That's a little pop-up over to the third baseman, Devlin. Has it for the out, one away. Sherry McGee now rolls a 61 for a 27 ground ball over to third base. Devlin throws the first two away. Mickey Doolin. And he rolls a 53 for a 19, changed to 16. That's going to be a little fly ball over to center field. Seymour has that for the out. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Cy Seymour up there rolls a 36 for 14, and so he's on base with the walk. That'll bring up uh, Doc Crandall, who already has a sacrifice hit. Here's his uh, second chance. Rolls a 25 for an 8, and that's going to be a bunt back to Richie, who throws over to uh, Knabe, uh, the second baseman covering a first for the out. One away, and here's Roger Bresnahan. The uh, Giants have two chances to uh, score the run. This looks familiar, doesn't it? He rolls a 12 for a 24. Here's the little E-roll. 65 out of the range. That's a little pop-up, weak pop-up over to Doolin, the shortstop. Two away. Here's Mike Donlin. Try that again. He rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball over to center field, and uh, Seymour has, uh, I'm sorry, Osborne has that for the out. I did it again. We go to the top of the eighth inning. It's Lou Ritchie up there for the Phillies. Richie uh, rolls a 55 for an A. That's going to be a single to left field. So Richie today, one for three, ha- is on for the second time. The first time, or on for the second time, the first time he reached base was on an air. And um, here comes Red Doohan. Richie already has scored a run. Red Doohan up there now with the pitcher on at first once again. And uh, the roll is a 54 for a 45. That's a fly ball to right field. And uh, it is uh, Donlin who has that for the out, one away. Here now is Eddie Grant, and Grant rolls the 13 for a 14, and that's another walk, and Crandall is really starting to struggle out there. That'll bring up John Titus, and where I think we're going to have Titus swing away, hitting 307, hitting fairly well for a team that's hovering around last place. Titus rolls a 26 for a 27, and that's a ground ball over to Devlin. Third baseman steps on the bag for one, throws to Tenney at first for the double play. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, and here is Fred Tenney, the first baseman. For New York, he rolls a 25 for an A. That's a ground ball to the shortstop, Doolin, who uh, throws the first one away. Art Devlin now rolls a 25 for a 10. That'll be a single to center field. And here come the Giants. Larry Doyle now. Devlin on a first. Here comes a hit and run. And it rolls a 15 for an 11. And so that uh, sends Devlin to third. And then Doyle able to steal a base um, with uh, Spike Shannon up there. And now we have a choice to make. So Shannon 0 for 2 today with a walk. Um, we've already seen one guy thrown out trying to advance on a, on a squeeze play, but it might be good to try this again. Infield will come in for Philadelphia, so let's try this. We're going to try a squeeze play once again for the Giants. And the result is a 12 for a 24. Here comes uh, the uh, roll, and it's a 55, and that ends up being a ball and uh, once again the runners thrown out trying to score two outs now still a two nothing ball game <clears throat> and uh, shannon rolls a 56 for a 34 there's a little e and it's a 66 out of the range this is a pop-up over to uh, first base bransfield has that one for the out and we go to the top of the ninth and here comes kitty bransfield so the uh, giants have wasted opportunities left and right here bransfield now up for the uh, phillies Phillies have left four runners on. The Giants have left nine on. Man, it's been a bloodbath out there. 
Bransfield rolls a 44 for a 7, and there's a base hit, single over to right field, and that'll bring up Fred Osborne. Bransfield, do you have an 11? You do, and that's what we're going to do, a little hit and run. And Osborne rolls a 34 for a 44. Now that's a base hit. 31 and 44, if you do a hit and run, is a base hit, and that sends Bransfield over to uh, third base. So here's Otto Knabe, and uh, the uh, Phillies have something going on. Otto Knabe up there now, 2 nothing game. Crandall having a hard time with it. They'll play the infield back. And the rolls a 52 for a 27. That is uh, not what the Phillies wanted. That's a ground ball to Devlin, who goes over to Doyle at second for one and back on to Wateni at first for the double play. And Bransfield can't uh, score two away, uh, one pitch, two outs. And here is uh, Sherry McGee. He rolls a 14 for 43. And uh, the little E rolls a 36 out of the range. That's a fly ball over to left field. And uh, Shannon has that for the out. And we will go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Al Bridwell to start this off for the uh, Giants, hitting 253, 309 on base percentage like the rest of the Giants. Knows how to get on base, knows how to play well. Rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to Grant, the third baseman who throws on to first for the out. One away. Cy Seymour now is up. And Cy rolls a 62 for a 12. There's a little E roll, and it's a 55 out of the range. And so that's going to be a little ground ball over to the uh, first baseman, Bransfield, who flips over to Richie, covering the bag, two away, and that'll bring up Doc Crandall. Of course, we're not going to let him hit for himself. We're not monsters. And so who do we allow to hit? Steve Evans. Steve Evans is going to hit here. <clears throat> Look at all those sevens, man. It looks like a work of art. What does he do? Rolls a 36 for a 33. That's going to be a pop-up over to the second baseman. Knabe has it for the out, and that does it. So the Phillies go to 8-11, and 11, Giants to 13-6. and six, And uh, we'll see what the Cubs do later on in this game, in game, uh, in this day, in game day. Um, if the uh, Cubs win, that'll open up a pretty sizable lead. As far as it's concerned, at the moment, the Giants are now a game and a half out of first. And uh, there you go. Final score, Phillies 2, Giants nothing. I will talk with you again tomorrow. Bye.